King J. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy King J. And first things first, I want to talk about this new app that I discovered called Tekken Amino. So what it does is it brings together your community, your clan or your team that play Tekken. And you can have public chat rooms, live chat rooms. It's easier for matchmaking, coaching. And you know, if you if you have problems with a character, you can post it in this app as well, which I think is really good. On top of that you've got quiz where you can also like answer questions and stuff and then it gets points at the end and i just feel like it's such a unique and easy app thing so make sure you guys get over and download the app tekken amino i definitely recommend it well then welcome to your nightmare and may you enjoy it so we have Geese Howard. Now, when the trailer came out, people didn't know who Geese Howard was. So I'm just gonna break down a little bit. Again, I'm not really that guy that watches too much into the storyline, look at loads of Wikipedia posters and stuff like that. I'm just gonna tell you how it is from how I know of Geese. So here goes. So Geese Howard comes, he debuted from Fatal Fury 1, and that was a Neo Geo game. And you know, a lot of the Fatal Fury games and King of Fighter games was pretty much not accessible. There's been like PlayStation ports and stuff like that later on down the line. But in terms of getting it on Neo Geo console, the Neo Geo console itself was expensive and so was the carts for the console. So people never got a chance to experience the games that came from Neo Geo. So Geese is pretty much the bad guy in Fatal Fury. He lives in a place called South Town and he just he's a guy that likes dominance and power you can see it in his face he just likes dominance and power uh, he killed Terry Bogard so Terry Bogard is the good guy in Fatal Fury series he killed Terry Bogard's dad Jeff Bogard uh, prior to that Jeff Bogard and, and Geese Howard trained together but he killed Jeff Bogard and Terry Bogard the young Terry Bogard seen, has seen this and he seeks revenge on Geese Howard Geese Howard later on does a tournament and Terry Bogard defeats him in the tournament uh, which he goes into the Geese Tower which is in South Town and he knocks him out, he knocks him out of the, knocks him off of the tower but Terry, not wanting him to die, put out his hand to try and grab him but then he, he let go, Geese let go of his hand and dropped down so it was rumoured that he was dead until that, until when he was his brother, it's his half brother, I think. His half bro brother, um, Wolfgang Wolfgang Krauser, he was in Fatal Fury 2, and he wanted to try out Terry Bogard's power. So, you know, where I'm going with this, he was uh, Geese was in also in Fatal Fury 3 as well. So, where I'm going with this is Geese kind of reminds me of Heiachi, you know, Kazuya throws Heiachi off the cliff. And then he actually survives. He actually throws Kazuya off the cliff and so forth, and he survives as well. Geese gets knocked off of this tower um, in real Battlefield Fury One and, and the other games as well. Um, but he manages to survive, and it's just like you're falling off of this. I don't even know how tall this tower is. You're falling off of this tower and you're surviving. So it's one of those things where it's like it brings kind of like it's it's kind of like ironic, isn't it? Like both both games. The, the bad guy I don't know if he actually can be considered the bad guy but both both characters they fall off they fall off of some somewhere high and they survive so it's kind of good that he's kind of crossed over because it kind of made me think back to that time of when he got knocked over by Terry Bogard so now Geese is all about power and dominance and why I say this is because in Fatal Fury 3 he was looking for a scroll which provides ultimate power and this is just a thing that Geese cares about he doesn't really he's just he's just that guy that just cares about all power and he's just a bad man I, I just really like this character in King of Fighters 49 I, I played uh, Geese Howard and in King of Fighters 98 I played Geese Howard as well yeah you're right yeah, cool. so from then on pretty much Geese has been that guy that's been in numerous fighting games, he's been in Art of Fighting 2, he's been in a lot of the Fatal Fury games, he's been in King of Fighters 96, 98, 2002, King of Fighters 14 as well, um, 2002 Omen Match, um, yeah he's appeared in a lot of the games and he's definitely a, one of the popular characters 
in the whole fail through and king of fighters so without further ado what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave you with my favorite ost or should i say ast a range soundtrack of geese howard and what i'm going to do is closer to the release date of when we do find out when geese howard comes i'm going to be releasing videos of me playing as geese howard in the old fail fury games and king of fire games just to kind of show you and give you an insight of how this character kind of fights and his moves his moves as well but other than that guys take it easy man peace Okay. King. King.